Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward. You know this guy, Jake. This is your weekly update. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yep. Thought we'd be in front of the Christmas tree Merry today. Merry Christ it's, Mass. It's that time of year, Jake. Let's still spend a lot of time because people will check out on us. Oh, they've already done They're gone. They may already have checked out. Hey, share this on your platforms and make sure you're talking about what's coming up. we got a lot happening this Sunday. We have grief support. You want to talk a little grief bit about Grief support that? after the service in the Generations Auditorium through the side door. Have some signs pointing there. Jenny, Tomasa, and her team of grief supporters, grief ministers will be there waiting for you with a meal. And then if you uh, you want to hang out and let those folks love on you and walk you through grief. Great, it's a great ministry, ministry, great time of the year. Uh, if you know somebody that would benefit from that, invite them. Uh, there's a great chance they're, they'll come with you. Also, this Sunday, uh, we will be voting on our budget for 2023. Hopefully, last week you picked one of those up. If you weren't able to, hopefully you uh, emailed uh, our office and we got you a copy of that. If you have any questions, you can reach out to our elders uh, via email or phone call, or if this is Sunday, our elders will be at the information desk and they can answer any question you may have. Then we're going to vote on that. Uh, and then we'll let you guys know uh, kind of the outcome of that. Really looking forward to yeah. seeing how we finish the year. Um, I, I'm going to say this again. I said this a couple weeks ago. I'm a little bit leery of saying this, yeah. but really just in faith, Jake, we have never missed a budget. Yeah. And, and so we want to finish this year well. We know some of you guys do end of the year giving. Uh, if you are interested in doing stocks or anything like that, you can contact Brian at summitheightsfellowship.com. He's our CFO. He can kind of walk you through that process and um, help you get there if you need to. Most people that give stocks know how to do that. but They know how to. Uh, yeah, they're smarter than us. Yeah, so Way smarter than also us. Christmas is uh, Angel Tree, Jay. Need those Angel Tree gifts back Sunday because I've got to deliver them to Hawkins Helping Hand Monday. If you cannot get your Angel Tree gifts back by Sunday, please contact me, Jake at summitheightsfellowship.com or call the church office and I can arrange a way to hook up with you and get those gifts back. Very important. We meet the needs in our community that goes back to our finances and just us being faithful uh, to meet needs in this community. Also this Sunday, we're going to be introducing a new ministry. Don't want to talk a whole lot about it, but you just kind of make you aware that when you come in this Sunday, there's going to be a table set up for fathers in the field. Yep, right there, right there. We're in the fathers in the field shirt. Uh, this is a ministry to fatherless boys. Boys in our community and in our church, we've identified over 30 young men uh, who do not have a father present in their life. That's incredible. I've been thinking about this, Jake. True religion is ministering to widows and orphans. And, and these young boys, while they have their mom present, don't have a dad present. And how important that is. And this is a discipleship, mentoring, coaching ministry that we want to introduce you to and invite you to how be a long, part how of. How long do you think we've been working behind the scenes on this? Probably six months. Well, yeah. honestly, oh, I was thinking a year. Honestly, I was uh, thinking it's been a about year. two and a half years. Yeah. It's been about two and a half years. And then in the last six months, we've been really yeah. working training and yeah. that. You and I are heading to a lunch today uh, on Fathers in the Field. It's great ministry for our community, man, I'm telling you. So don't miss this Sunday. Uh, bring somebody with you. I ended the service this last week and, and encourage you to bring somebody with you to church. Uh, it is so important that you invite somebody. It may be your neighbor. It may be a coworker, uh, someone that maybe hadn't been in a while. Invite them and bring them this Sunday because they're not only going to hear about fathers in the field. They're going to hear a great message, great music, and uh, it's going to be a well, great Sunday. Great music no, message uh, will be debatable. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, Christmas service. Christmas is coming up. This is a great time of the year. Christmas falls on Sunday. Sunday. Yep, December 25th, every year, same date, but it does fall on different days. Yes, that's and true. And so this year, we're not going to do a service on Sunday. We want you to spend time with your family as part of who we are as yep. a culture, as a church. And so we will not have service on Sunday <coughs> and Christmas Day. Uh, we will do a Christmas, Christmas Eve service at 5 p.m. That gets you out early enough to go do all of your family and that kind of stuff. I think Danielle just ran through the uh, scene there. Uh, so make sure you uh, know that. It's it's all over our screens and everything, and she's right back in the middle. Uh, so anyway, Christmas Day, no service. Christmas Eve, 5 o'clock service. Then New Year's Day. We will have the service New Year's Is Day. also on Sunday, and we will have a regular service at 10 a.m. on New Year's Day. We know some of you have a lot of fun on New Year's Eve. 
was that that was diplomatic, mm-hmm. wasn't it? And uh, so give you enough time to sleep in and still be at church at 10 o'clock. So uh, make sure that you note that on your schedules and know what's coming up. Talk about it amongst yourselves and all that good stuff. Jake, what else do we have? I'm excited about lunch today. Are you? Why is that? I'm getting the Mother Clucker sandwich. Stanley, it's funny because I'm, get, I'm getting the Mother Clucker tacos. I love it, man. The, the that tacos jalapeno, are That jalapeno bun that they put the sandwich on. Mm-mm. Now the tacos are better. The chicken and the and the and the cheese and the avocado. Taco, the tacos tacos are much better. I'm getting tacos. Absolutely, Summit. Mm-hmm. We love you. Hope you have a great week this week. Great weekend. If you're listening to this on Sunday morning, we're so glad that you're here this morning. We know it takes a lot of courage to walk into a room this size, and uh, we are grateful that you're here. We pray that you have. A great weekend, a great day today. We love you, and uh, we'll see you Sunday morning.